Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new to today. I'm going to be reading the prologue of Wings of Fire, the Dragonette Prophecy by Tai T. Sutherland. Sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. I probably did. I looked up a bunch of ways to pronounce it, but all of them were different, so I just went with that one. But if you have not yet read Wings of Fire or you want to read the series over again, this video is for you. And if you're wondering, I have already read the series. But yeah, I'm just going to be doing a kind of audible thing. I don't know. But yeah, I hope this video doesn't get copyrighted and taken down. So anyway, let's begin. Prologue. A dragon was trying to hide in the storm. Lightning flickered across the dark clouds. Hivator clutched his fragile cargo closer. If he could make it over the mountains, he'd be safe. He'd escaped the strike sky dragon's palace unseen and the secret cave was so close but his theft had not been as stealthy as he thought and eyes as black as obsidian were already tracking him from below the enormous dragon on the mountain ledge had pale gold scales that radiated heat like a desert horizon her black eyes narrowed watching the gleam of silver wings far up in the clouds she flickered her tail, and behind her, two more dragons rose to the sky and dove, dove into the heart of the storm. A piercing shriek echoed off the mountains as their talons seized the moon-pale dragon. Bind his mouth, the waiting dragon ordered as her soldiers dropped his guitar on the slick, wet ledge in front of her. He was already inhaling, ready to attack. Quickly! One of the soldiers grabbed a chain from the pile of smoldering coals. He threw it around the ice dragon's snout, clamping his jaws together with a sizzling smell of burning scales. Hivatar let out a muffled scream. Too late, the sand dragon's forked tongue slithered in and out of her mouth. You won't be using your freezing death breath on us, ice dragon. He was carrying this queen burn, said one of the soldiers, handing her a dragon egg. Burn squinted at the egg through the downpour. This is not an ice wing egg, she hissed. He stole this from the sky wing palace. The ice wing star stared back at her, hissing steam circling his snout where the hot chains met cold silver scales. You thought you got away unnoticed, didn't you? Burn said. My sky wing ally is not a fool. Queen Scarlet knows everything that happens in her kingdom. Her lookouts reported an icewing thief sneaking away, and I decided finding you might add some violence to our boring visit. Burn held the large egg up to the light of the fire and turned it slowly, slowly. Red and gold shimmered below the pale, smooth surface. Yes, this is an skywing egg about to hatch, Burn mused. Why would my sister send you to steal a dragon wing, a sky wing dragonette? Blaze hates any dragon younger and prettier than she is. She thought for a moment as the rain drummed on the ledge around them, unless the bright night is tomorrow. Her tail flickered up like a scorpion's, the poisonous barb inches from Hivatar's eyes. You're not in Blaze's army, are you? You're one of those insipid underground peace mongers the talons of peace said one of the soldiers you mean they're real born snorted a few worms crying over a little blood and wrap his chains he won't be able to freeze us until the scales cool down the enormous sand dragon leaned closer as her, as her soldier pulled the chain away tell me ice dragon do you really believe in that pompous old Nightwing's prophecy? Haven't enough dragons died f for your war? Snarled Hivatar, wincing at the pain of his jaws. All of Priera has suffered for the f last twelve years. The prophecy says, I don't care. No prophecy decides what happens to me, Byrne interrupted. I'm not letting a bunch of words or baby dragons uh, choose when I die or what I bow to. We can have peace when my sisters are dead and I am the queen of the sand wings. Her venomous tail dipped closer to the silver dragon. Rain pattered on Hivatar's scales. He glared up at her. The dragonettes are coming, whether you like it or not. And they'll choose who the next sand wing queen should be. Really? Burn stepped back and turned the egg slowly between her talons. Her forked tongue slipped in and out of her smile. So, Ice Wing, this is the egg is this egg a part of your pathetic prophecy 
Hivatar went still. Burns tapped lightly on the eggshell with one long talon. Hello, she called. Is there a dragonet of destiny in there, ready to come out and end this big bad war? Leave it alone, Hivatar choked out. Tell me, Burns said. What, beco what becomes of your pre precious prophecy if one of the five dragonets is never hatched at all? You wouldn't, he said. <laughs> no one would harm a dragon egg. His blue eyes were fixed desperately on her talons. No wings of sky to help save the world, Born said. What a sad story. She ran tossing the egg from one front of the claw from one front claw to the other. I guess that means you should be very, very careful with this terrible impo with this terribly important little oops. With an exaggerated lunge, Burn pretended the egg wet uh, the egg wet a what? Sorry, Burn pretended the wet egg was slipping through her talons and Burn and then she let it fall over the side of the cliff on into the rocky darkness below. No, Hivatar shrieked. He threw off the two soldiers and flung himself towards the edge. Burns slammed her massive claws down on his neck. So much for your destiny, she smirked. So, so much for your tragic little movement. You're a monster, the Icewing gasped, withering under her talons his voice cracked with despair we'll never give up the dragonettes the dragonettes will come and stop this war burn leaned down to hiss in his ear even if they do it'll be far too late for you her claws ripped through the silver dragon's wings shredding them as hivatar screamed shrieked in ag agony with a swift movement, she stabbed her poisonous tail through his skull and flung the long silver body over the edge of the cliff. The ice dragon's screams cut off long before the echoes of the corpse slamming into the rocks below. The sandwing turned her black eyes to her soldiers. Perfect, she said. That should be the last we hear about that stupid prophecy. She held out her talons so the rain would wash away the glistening dragon blood. Let's go find something else to kill. The three dragons spread their wings and lifted off into the dark clouds. Sometime later, far below, a large dragon, the color of rust, crawled over the, the rocks to the broken body of the ice dragon. She nudged his tail aside and lifted a shard of eggshell from underneath it, then slipped back into the lab labyrinth of caves of caves under the cliffs stone walls brushed against her wings she breathed out a plum of light uh, a plum a f plum of flame to light her way along the dark passage deep in the mountain stone i stand with the talons of peace hissed a voice in the shadows kestrel is that you we wait we await the wings of fire answered the red dragon. A blue-green sea wing emerged from a side cave, and she tossed the eggshell at his feet. Not that it'll do much now, she snarled. Hivatar is dead. The sea wing started, stared at the eggshell, but the sky wing egg, broken, she said. Gone. It's over, Webs. It can't be, he said. Tomorrow's the brightest night. The three moons will all be full for the first time in a century. The dragonettes of the prophecy have to hatch tomorrow. Well, one of them is already dead, Kestrel said. Rage flickered in her eyes. I knew I should have stolen the Skywing egg myself. I know the Sky Kingdom. They wouldn't have caught me a second time. Webbs grimaced, scratching one claw over the gills along his neck. Asha's dead too. Asha? A spurt of flame shot from Kestrel's nose. How? Caught in a battle between Blaze and Bliss and Blister's f forces on the way here. She still made it with the red mudwing egg, but she died of her wounds soon after. So, just you and me and Dune to raise the little worms? Kestrel gro growled. For a prophecy that can never be fulfilled. Let's break the cursed eggs now and be done with it. We'll be long gone before the Talons of Peace can return for the dragonettes. No, Webbs hissed, keeping the 
Keeping the dragon as a life for the next eight years is more important than anything. If you don't want to be a part of that, all right, enough, Kestrel snapped. I'm the strongest dragon in the Talons of Peace. You need me. It doesn't matter how I feel about nasty little dragonettes. She eyed the eggshell on the floor, rubbing her scarred palms together. Although I thought at least one of them would be a skywing. I'll find us a f fifth dragonette, Webs pushed past her. Scales scraping all against a rock. There's no way back into the Sky Kingdom, brainless, she said. They'll be guarding the hatchery closer now. Then I'll get a, an egg somewhere else, he said, grimly. The rain wings don't even count their eggs. I'll take one of them from the rainforest without anyone noticing. Of all the horrible ideas, Kestrel said with a shudder, Rainwings are wretched creatures, nothing like Skywings. We have to do something, Webb said. He hissed at his t as his tail sent the eggshell skittering ac across the floor. In eight years, the Talons of Peace will be co will come looking for the five dragonettes. The prophecy says five, and we're going to make it true, make it come true, whatever it takes. And then part one, Under the Mountain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry um, I stuttered a lot. I'm not that great of a reader. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all so much. And goodbye. Have a wonderful day.